Did you know that the average American spends nearly 33% of their income on housing expenses? It's a staggering figure that signifies the weighty demand for shelter. Over the past decade, the cost of living has skyrocketed in many areas, pushing more and more of people's incomes into maintaining a roof over their heads. In some hotspots, housing prices have risen by a staggering 50% in just 10 years. Simultaneously, wages have struggled to keep up, creating a widening gap between income and living costs. This trend is not only burdensome for homeowners and renters, but also poses significant risks for real estate investors. Moreover, there's a growing concern among economists and market watchers about the potential signs of another recession looming on the horizon. The combination of these factors paints a challenging picture for the housing market. These numbers are indeed alarming, and they point to an important question. How can real estate investors protect themselves in a potentially unstable market? All right, listen up, fam. They call me the kingpin of the real estate underworld, on my soul and for good reason. In this cutthroat world of bricks and mortar, I've built an empire that laughs in the face of recessions. You feel me? That's my good word, you'll see. While the rest of the world trembles at the mere mention of economic downturns, we thrive. Why? Because we've mastered the art of recession-proof real estate investing. So if you're looking to navigate these treacherous waters like a true savvy investor, say less and stick around. We'll show you the ropes, and together, on God, we'll make sure your investment stands strong no matter what the economy throws our way. No cap. Welcome to the game, kids. It's time to play with the big boys. Top real estate experts across the globe have their own strategies and insights on how to navigate the uncertain waters of the housing market. Let's dip our toes into the sea of wisdom they have to offer. First, we have the acclaimed real estate guru, Richard Thompson, who implores us to focus on the fundamentals. He suggests that in times of economic uncertainty, sticking to properties with strong fundamentals, such as good location and quality construction, can serve as a safety net. Thompson also emphasizes the importance of being patient and not rushing into purchases. Next up, we have the legendary investor Marianne Roberts, who champions the strategy of diversification. She argues that spreading investments across different types of properties and geographical locations can shield one's portfolio from localist downturns. Roberts also notes that diversification isn't just about property type and locatian. It's also about diversifying the risk levels of your investments. Then we have the esteemed analyst, George Klein, who advises keeping an eye on the long-term trends. He warns that short-term market fluctuations can be misleading and recommends focusing on long-term demographic and economic trends instead. Klein's mantra, don't get distracted by the noise. Lastly, we have the insightful economist, Laura Chen. She urges investors to keep a close watch on the broader economic indicators. Factors such as unemployment rates, interest rates, and GDP growth, according to Chen, can provide valuable clues about the future trajectory of the housing market. As we delve into these expert opinions, we see a common thread. Each expert, in their own way, stresses the importance of due diligence, patience, and a long-term perspective. They remind us that real estate investing is not about quick wins, but about building sustainable wealth over time. As we can see, there's no one-size-fits-all strategy here. It's about understanding the market and making informed decisions. Each expert offers a unique perspective, and it's up to us to take these insights and form our own strategies. After all, as the saying goes, knowledge is power. As you can tell today, I'm doing a little less interrupting because I want you to really conceptualize what my mans is trying to break down for you. Feel me? I want to see y'all win because y'all choose to be here. No cap. So why did the scarecrow become a successful real estate agent? Because he was outstanding in his field. Now listen, fam. On my soul, if you want to keep cracking jokes and making moves in the real estate game, you better subscribe. Hit that button like it owes you money. You hear me? We're building an empire, and you don't want to miss out on the inside scoop. 
So what are you waiting for, young blood? Do it now or you might find yourself on the wrong end of a deal. I'm for real watching you. Hit that sub button, quit playing with me. Understanding the housing market trends is the first step in protecting your investments. Let's dive into this. Being in tune with the market's pulse allows you to make informed decisions. This means staying updated with market trends, scrutinizing data, and understanding indicators of a potential recession. Market trends are not just about the now. They provide insights into the future, revealing patterns and cycles that can help forecast what's to come. Data analysis, on the other hand, can give us a more detailed perspective. It's like peeling back layers to expose the story beneath the surface. Moreover, recognizing recession indicators is crucial. These could be an increase in unemployment rates, a decrease in consumer spending, or a slump in the construction industry. As real estate investors, we can use this information to our advantage, strategize, and protect our investments from potential downturns. Remember, knowledge is power. The more you understand the market, the better you can navigate it. Now that we have a better understanding of the market and expert opinions, it's time to act. First, let's talk about diversification. Diversification is the practice of spreading your investments around so that your exposure to any one type of asset is limited. This strategy can help reduce your risk by offsetting losses in one area with gains in another. In the context of real estate, diversification can mean investing in different types of properties, such as residential, commercial, and industrial, or in different geographical regions. Next, consider investing in recession-proof areas. These are areas that tend to hold their value or even thrive during economic downturns. For example, properties in prime locations, such as city centers or near major employment hubs, often remain in high demand regardless of the overall economic climate. Similarly, properties that cater to essential needs, such as grocery stores or medical facilities, can also be more resilient in a recession. Lastly, contingency planning is crucial in protecting your investments. A contingency plan is a course of action designed to help you respond effectively to a significant future event that may or may not happen. It's essentially your plan B, C, and D. In real estate investing, this could mean having a strategy to pivot your property's use, such as converting a short-term rental into a long-term rental, or having a financial buffer to cover expenses if your property remains vacant for a period of time. Remember, the goal of these steps is not to eliminate risk. That's impossible. Instead, the aim is to manage risk, to make sure that you're not putting all your eggs in one basket and that you have a plan in place if things don't go as expected. In the face of a potential recession, you have the power to protect your investments. It's all about staying informed, taking calculated risks, and being ready to adapt to changing market conditions. All right, you've been schooled in the art of real estate, but the hustle never stops. If you wanna keep raking in those stacks, you gotta stay sharp. Lucky for you, on my soul, I've got another ace up my sleeve. Head over to our next financial video fam, where we stay dropping even more wisdom bombs to help you dominate the game. Remember, in this world, it's eat or be eaten, and I ain't about to let anyone snatch my plate. So hit that video button like it's the last deal of your life. Stay hustling, stay winning, and I'll catch you on the flip side. Be easy.